the primary treatment for ovarian cancer combines usually surgical removal of the tumor and what we call surgical staging with chemotherapy. When we quote unquote stage ovarian cancer, really what we're talking about is removing all the tumor that's there and then usually removing a structure called the omentum that the cancer frequently metastasizes to and removing the lymph nodes. And that information provides us with a stage. In other words, how far the cancer is spread in that patient. And that then dictates where we go next in terms of treatment following the surgical therapy. Staging is determining the extent of cancer. And so for ovarian cancer, stage one disease is disease that's confined to the ovary. Stage two disease is when it's spread to adjacent pelvic structures. Stage three disease is when it's spread to the abdominal cavity. And then stage four disease is when ovarian cancer is spread either to the liver or the lung or essentially a distant organ. It's important not to understage a patient because those patients may get suboptimal treatment and may not be given the best advantage for cure. And it's very unusual for a woman with cancer or the ovary not to require chemotherapy as part of her treatment course. And that's because this disease tends to spread early and spreads outside of the ovary into the upper abdomen. The most important determinant of outcome is having all the cancer removed. So it's critically important in terms of the surgical care of women with cancer of the ovary to have all of the cancer removed. And that means not only the tumors on the ovaries themselves, but any cancerous implants outside of the ovary.